Well, family, get on news report of Mary Dash Swing and Mary Lee. Today is the last day of the month. March 31st. That's the Thursday in my city, Chicago. 2022, so they say. Right there, it says, always cool. Yes, yeah, they what I'm saying. Look here. Today is the day, uh. My oldest niece, Yvonne Nelson, a.k.a. Rudy, allegedly supposed to have died due to gang bangers or gang violence in my city, Chicago. I got 1235, and I don't know how true that is because I did not attend the funeral, and I know my um, family are gold diggers. And all kind of stuff. This is 1228 over here. You know, 1995, I gave Oprah Winfrey my uh, voice to three cassette tapes to the sound of music. And uh, um, Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. So we got a new supporter, Mary Dash Twin, and Mary and Lee. An originator of rap music since the age of. 8 in 1975. I was also in the Chicago Sun Times newspaper at the age of 6 in 1973. I'll be 55 years old this year, allegedly 2022, so they say. Um, May 25th. I was born 1967. May 25th, 1967. Now, according to this uh, fire extinguisher, that's the year 2022. All right. And this camera wasn't here when I got here May 31st, 2017. But because people like being all in my business, I have to let the viewer know, which is you, viewer, that I am, must be somebody of importance. Um, I don't look at myself as somebody impotent, you understand what I'm saying? Just everyday people trying to get through this thing called life. I got 1237. I like coming from behind for mines. Like I said, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, the age of six, 1973. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby, say you love me. Five, six, seven times. Gloria Estefan. Oh, I tell you, a lot of people want my number one spot. They have come from all around the world to get it, too. Oh, they have invaded, intruded, and, um, you know, did a little invasion of my privacy. Now, I, I usually write in my hats and. I don't be remembering everything because I'm under pressure. I'm doing, doing this basically by myself. I became your ghetto news reporter basically when I put my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, on YouTube November of 2007 and my child abuse rap and how to handle a child abuse victim the next day, you know. So in 2007, I posted two videos and of course I got railroaded went to prison for so called disarm the police officer something I did not do I was on my way to a gospel fest to see uh Rant Allen rest in peace power and press spirity because they said he has moved on tapped out or whatever the case may be in nineteen ninety five I made note of the fact that I already know I'm worth more dead than I am alive. Now before I was gonna become a street Vendor or whatever the case may be. As far as selling general merchandise back in the day. Music and movies and things of that nature and stuff. Trying to make an honest living to avoid, you know, prison time for real. You know, I didn't want to be a drug dealer or, you know, some sinister person or whatever. So I sold general merchandise and, and I made a good living doing that. And as a result... You know, somebody was hating on that and stuff because, you know, I ended up going to prison anyway for something I did not do. Uh, 
May 31st, 2008, for so-called disarmed police officer. My initial uh, stop that the so-called Chicago police did and who were undercover so-called police officer probably probably was not, you understand what I'm saying? But at the time, you know, I wasn't aware of all the sinister stuff that people do, you know, because I am an honest person. I try to be, and I try not to think sinister thoughts, but because I had no choice in the long run, like right now, I had to think like my enemies, because if not, you know, your enemy would know you better than you know them, and that's how they was able to infiltrate my um my livelihood and you know me being a prominent person in my city chicago uh, yeah but the initial stop was tinted windows everybody their mama got tinted windows including the police so you know it had nothing to do with that they wanted them my number one spot they wanted the respect that i gained in the streets for over two decades and stuff, you know, because you have to treat people according to how you want to be treated. If you want them to be a, a repeat customer, you know, these people don't have good customer service and, you know, just going to the store to get snacks is a problem for me. And, you know, I used to give people tax-free, you know, uh, deals and stuff. Now they just want to do the most or whatever, try to take the little pennies that they left me with with this Little crazy check that you know they trying to take off. So you know they, they, they for some reason they really believe that, you know I'm a lose at winning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see how silly that sounds. Now I was gonna be a security guard back in the day before I became a street vendor or entrepreneur. I like to say, and uh, you know, I got four nieces. At least they say they was my nieces. You understand what I'm saying now? They said one allegedly got killed by a game bang. I don't believe it. I, you know, my, my family is just special. I don't even want to go off into it. But if she did, she was the oldest one. And she's the only one who I remember birthday, which is today, March the 31st. And I was trying to figure out how she was older than me by a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? I'm, saying, I'm the auntie. I'm saying, dang, I never could figure it out. And I wasn't with my so-called family long enough to figure out the rest of the uh, their birthdays. And the only reason why I believe I remember my oldest niece's birthday was because I wanted to learn how to drive. And I stole her keys off the table and took her car. Because the next door neighbor was going to take me to the DMV, you know what I'm saying? So I get my license. I wanted to make sure I didn't tear up his car. And I figured if I tore up her car, my uh, older sister was getting money for me to be in the household that, you know, she would be able to get a new car or whatever the case. That's how I was thinking at 17 or 18. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, you know, my mind is definitely, you know, more advanced than people think. Now, I got this hat. I just was looking through my hats. And I colored it in and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if any of my uh, family members, as far as my nieces, uh, are gay, lesbian, or whatever the case may be. But they know their auntie has dibble and dabble. You understand? But I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate. You understand what I'm saying? Today, I've been in this trap building. They can tell you. You understand what I'm saying? Themselves. Almost five years, you understand, real talk. Like I said, I got here May 31st, 2017. There's been no, you know, you understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. So that they know for sure. If they don't know nothing else, with they know the asses and shit. Now, I was going to be security, right? Now, I wrote in this hat, as you can see. It's my um so-called sister's... Uh, House, my mother's house, 7547 South Walcott, Chicago, Illinois. And I I wrote in it um August the 25th, 2018, and I wrote Heavenly Made, not made as in M-A-I-D, because I remember needing some money from uh my sister and stuff because she was getting paid for me to stay there she's greedy you know she's just you know you know you know about the cinderella story yeah i'm the one that's catching hell and i'm 
almost 55 years old and still getting, you know, going through hell. So I wanted to go skating and I cleaned up the whole house for $20. Oh, it was nice and clean. Now imagine four nieces, my sister, me, a dog, and, you know, whoever else came or whatever over. And I cleaned up from top to bottom or whatever. And it was clean for twenty dollars and i wasn't on drugs okay you understand i just wanted the people to know that you know cleanliness is next to godliness and the devil comes to steal kill and destroy so i'm not the problem i try to keep my room tidy when i first got here they had the nerd to ask me uh the people that so-called running this here i believe my sister linda has taken over all of my um money, property, and prestige and my legacy, because I know my mama, Mary Lee Wright, named me after her, but my name is Mary Lee Davis, but I know my mother had left me something. I just want my legacy, my rap legacy. I'm trying to go on vacation, basically. You understand what I'm saying? And all I need is money to do that. I ain't never got to be stationed in one place. I feel like an Army person that ain't never left the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Girl Scouts, the Vision Quest program I was at, you know, learning how to become strong. You understand what I'm saying? For real. I say all this to say, look, I hope my, none of my nieces have uh, passed away. For real. None of them. For real. I haven't seen them in a while. But I know that the uh, Civil Rights Movement, you know, they said uh, four girls, because I got four nieces, was doing Bible study back in the day. And they bombed the church and all four girls died. And history got a way of repeating itself. And I've been trying to save them since forever, but people keep thinking I'm just crazy. So, you know, we're going to see what happens. Uh, break these balls. Flip that Bible. And maybe somebody will take me seriously, if not their father, because... You know, I am their father, quiet killer. His, his ass ain't. His ass ain't shit. Now, I got the two and the one. Now, the blue, this by, this this here, is it? It's in um blue. You see? You see? Where it say, heavenly made, not made. It's in blue. Okay? Real fucking toe. Just like this, too. I am number one. You put it together, that's three. How many nieces do I got left? Three or four? Now, they say if you tell a lie long enough, it will become the truth. Look, I don't know what's going on because they play too much. And I don't play. I didn't go to the funeral. I don't know if they just trying to hustle. You understand what I'm saying? Why don't y'all just tell the truth? Bible scripture. This is uh, uh, some Matthew's chapter twenty one. They trying to rob me blind. You have to excuse me, but you know girls are hard to deal with, and me being a auntie, they think I'm not a girl for some reason. All right, eight and seven is what? Fifteen. This is on page eight seventy. 871 over here. Now, this is uh Matthew's chapter 21. Two plus one is what? Three. Ain't no 22 over here. It's just chapter 21. Okay? All right? You see where this is going? Now, your auntie usually write about stuff, but for some reason, you know, y'all not feeling the truth and stuff. Maybe your father got something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Daddy's little girls and shit. What's done in the dark comes to the light. I don't know what this says, but you can you can read uh you can read chapter twenty also if you want. You understand what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to do. It's your life. Live it. Just give me mine. It's everything the devil stole from me. And with that, this show got a news reporter man dash between the Mary and the Lee. Stop trying to kill me for my money, property, and prestige and my legacy. Cause I am number one. Peace.